Hey, have you figured out that one history question yet? I think it was number 13? Yeah, that one. The one with that presidential campaign thing or whatever it was called. I don't even know. I've been stuck on it for the past 20 minutes. I can't find it anywhere in the textbook. But I know I've been looking in the right spot. I feel like they just skip right over it. Well, what page was it on? I swear, if it's not even where I was looking, I'm gonna look so dumb. <laughs> really? That's exactly where I was looking. Where is it? Huh. Are you serious? How did I even miss that? I remember reading that part like a half dozen times too. Huh. Yeah, I'm fine, I'm fine. Just feeling a bit tired, that's it. We have been at this for the past hour and a half and somehow we are only finishing question 13. How many questions were there again? Looks like 20? I guess that's not too bad. Only had that left to go. Still, at this rate, it will take us at least another hour. Hey, just imagine if I didn't have you. It would take me the whole night. If not, part of tomorrow as well. I mean, I guess it's nice to be friends with a smart kid. <laughs> but really, how are you so smart? You make stuff like this easy. While I'm sitting over here barely wrapping my head around it. Yeah, maybe paying attention in class would help. I guess I can understand why that might be a big part of it. You almost can't even blame me though, right? I mean, our professor is just so boring. He always rambles on for hours about his pointless story to the point that I may just fall asleep. Can't learn when you are not even awake. <laughs> You know what? My respect to you for being able to stand him. It takes a different kind of person to do that. <laughs> if only I had a strong will as you do, maybe then I could finally get an A in that class. <laughs> but anyway, let's move on. Question 14. Hmm? Hold on. Oh, it's just a text from my sister. She asking if I have a second to call her? Do you mind? I bet it will be really quick. I don't know what could be so important to last more than a couple minutes. At least that's what I hope. You know, how about you go get yourself another coffee? That way, you won't have to get one later? Like, while we are working? Okay, sounds good. Oh, but hey, can you get me one too if it's not too much trouble? I don't know about you, but I'm feeling pretty exhausted. Maybe another dose of caffeine will screw my head back on straight. <laughs> then I can actually do something for the group instead of sitting around getting answers from you. Who knows? <laughs> oh, shut up. I will. I promise you. Once I get some coffee in my system, I'll be back on the grind. Just you wait. Just go get the coffee. Alrighty, I'll be back soon. Hopefully. Hey, what's up? No, why? Did you forget it again? <sighs> Gotta be honest, I'm not surprised. <laughs> Goodness, I can't believe you have made it this far in life. <sighs> Don't worry about it too much, I'm sure you will wise up someday. Although, I've been saying that ever since you were in high school, so... <laughs> yeah, whatever. So, why are you calling me? I'm not gonna come bring it for you. Well, then what is it? Ah, shoot. 
Sorry, but I can't. I'm pretty busy right now. I'm studying over at a friend's house tonight. Probably won't be back home for another hour or two. No, my car's still at home. He picked me up from home pretty much right after I got back from school. Yes, he. What about it? Uh, yes, it's him, but... <laughs> Shut up! Oh my gosh, I should have never even said anything. We're just doing homework, that's it, I swear. What, can I not study with him anymore? Is that off limits now? Look, just because I'm hanging out with him doesn't mean we are dating all of a sudden. To be honest, I had no clue that we would even be hanging out until a couple hours ago. Well, this morning I was struggling with the history homework, so I asked him for some help. We both thought we would work on it during school, but then I got busy with volleyball and stuff. So, he ended up inviting me over. Just normal friend behavior. What? No, that's not a hint. That's just him being friendly. You know he's like one of the nicest people in school, right? If you have met him, you would know. <laughs> Believe me, if that was his way of giving hints, he would have almost a dozen crushes by now. Not to mention the fact that I don't even think he has a crush. At least, not right now anyway. Usually, his friends are always talking to me about his new crush or something of the sorts, but they have all gone pretty quiet recently. I haven't heard anything from them in a while. Like you would know. You'd be the last person to know when someone has a crush on someone. Like, if I wouldn't have told you about him, you'd probably still be thinking I was in love with that one guy from a couple years back. Yeah, yeah, whatever you say. I didn't know I was talking to the relationship expert over here. <laughs> hey, when you get yourself a boyfriend, come talk to me. Maybe then, I'll finally take your advice. But until then, I think I'll manage. Yeah, I'm sure I'll be fine. I feel like if I have made it this far into the relationship, I must be doing something right. Hmm, what that could be though? I don't know. I'm sure I'll figure it out someday, but until then... I guess we'll just have to wait and see. Hey, patience! <laughs> I know you just can't wait to tell everyone about how we are destined to be together or how we are just such a great couple, but we gotta get there first. In the meantime, just pray for me, I guess. <laughs> I don't know. You can be like a supportive mom on the sidelines of your kids' soccer game. How does that sound? <laughs> Alright, sounds like a plan to me. Just please don't take that too literally though. Why? Just making sure, that's all. She always find ways to twist my words against me. Yeah, yeah, whatever you say. Hey, I should probably get going. I told him I will only be a couple minutes. I don't want to keep him waiting too much longer. Even if it hasn't been that long. <sighs> Oh, goodness, what is it with you tonight? I feel like the whole reason you called was just to make fun of me. <laughs> just goodbye already. I'll talk to you when I get home. Alright, see ya. Bye. Oh, hey. Didn't expect for you to be back already. I guess that phone calls was longer than I thought. <laughs> my bad. Ah, uh, if only you knew my sister. She does not know when to stop talking. Especially at my expense. But whatever. Let's just finish this up so I can go home. Not that I don't want to stay, but you know. Wait, did you end up getting us coffees? Oh, okay. 
I was about to say. I thought I was going crazy because I couldn't find mine. <laughs> no, no, it's fine. Don't apologize. To be honest, it's probably best I didn't have one this late anyway. So I bet if I had one now, I'd have a terrible time trying to sleep tonight. <laughs> well, it helps that you are a night owl. Me, on the other hand, I try to actually stick to my sleep schedule. Hey, I'm not saying that being a night owl is bad. It's just, I could never be one. And I don't plan on trying. At least, not today. What time is it anyway? It's already quarter after 8? Jeez, I've been here longer than I thought. Nothing, it's just... Oh, never mind. Let's just get back to work. What you get for a number 15? I think I got it, but I just want to make sure. What do you mean? Are you still working on it? You are still on 14? What? How? Here, let me see your paper. You barely even started. You got two words down and it's already been like 15 minutes. Yeah, like there's any chance you just got stuck on it. Then how was I able to figure it out before you? Believe me, either you get stuck on a problem and I do too, or you fly through it and leave me in the dust. It's never the other way around. <sighs> What's the problem? No, I know there's one. Can't hide that from me. You can try your best to say otherwise, but your attempts will fall on deaf ears. Bro, it's alright. You can trust me. Whatever you gotta say, just say it. It's about me? Oh, jeez. Is that a good or a bad thing? <laughs> Goodness, now you are making me nervous. What is it? Even if it's bad, I don't care. You have gotten me intrigued more than anything else. Just say it. Oh my gosh. I promise I won't freak out or anything. Hmm? You hurt me? Hurt me doing what? Like, just now? In the bedroom? Oh. Um... <laughs> How much of it did you end up hearing? The entire thing, huh? Well, that's just... Uh, I'm gonna kill my sister when I get home. She is a dead girl walking. Oh no, no, I'm perfectly fine. I'm not freaking out in the slightest. <laughs> okay, maybe that's a lie, but... Who wouldn't be in this situation? No, it's not okay. This is probably the single-handedly most scary moment in my entire life. I did not expect my night to take a turn for the worst like this. Just my luck, isn't it? If only you would have just got us some coffees. Then our lives could just be so much simpler. Gosh, I can't believe a couple of coffees might have just ruined our friendship. Yes, I said it was ruined. Look, I know you don't like me like that. If you did, I would have heard about it by now. If not, weeks ago. You can't convince me. I know it is. Just no. Please. Don't make this harder than it has to be, please. This is already too much to take in. Stop, please. Just stop. I'm sorry. This is all my fault. Yes, it is. Don't even say that. I mean, how stupid could I be for talking about you while you were 
literally in the room next to mine. <sighs> Again? I can't tell you enough how sorry I am for now making things awkward between us. To be honest, I'm sorry for everything that happens after this. I already know it. You're gonna tell me how it's okay and how sorry you are for not feeling the same. Followed by promising me that we'll keep in touch like nothing ever happened. Then you will slowly drift away. The knowledge that I like you or I guess loved you will be too embarrassing every time we see each other. All until we break ties. And you're almost like a passing memory to me. Huh? What part of that did I get wrong? All of it? <laughs> yeah, whatever you say. Like I said, you're just trying to make me feel better. You say that you are telling the truth, but how do I know you're not lying? Because you... Wait, what? No, you're lying. You're just saying that. How could you love me? It doesn't make any sense. How come I haven't found out yet? Your friends are always telling everyone about your crushes. I would have definitely heard about this one. Why not? What makes me different? Why didn't you tell them about me? Because you didn't want me to find out? Oh, I guess that makes a little bit of sense. I feel all your other crushes found out you like them before you had a chance to tell them yourself. Avoiding all that mess entirely is actually pretty smart. But still, why me? I feel like I haven't done anything to make you fall in love with me. I have always just kinda been there, you know? Standing on the sidelines, not really doing anything. You really think so? I never really thought of myself as cute. Well, I don't know. I just don't. Hmm, that's certainly interesting. No, it's just that I've never been called cute before. Definitely a first. <laughs> Well, I think you look cute too. <laughs> what? I'm trying my best here. <laughs> Believe me, you wouldn't understand how nervous I am unless you were me. I've been trying to calm down for the past. Who knows how long it's been? Part of me still can't even believe this is real. I'm almost tempted to pinch myself just to make sure I'm not dreaming. Ouch, no, don't actually pinch me. <laughs> Just because I was joking about it doesn't mean you actually do it. Jeez, you really remind me of someone. Whether that's a good thing or not, it's up to you to decide. You can take a guess. So, you... Um, you really like me too? Oh, oh, sorry, sorry. I just have to triple check. Can't be too sure. Alright, fine, fine. I'll try to keep that in mind from now on. I won't doubt you ever again. I promise. So, um, I assume we are done with homework? Oh, I know we are not actually done, but you know. I don't think I would be able to focus at all. I bet you wouldn't either, based on how terribly distracted you were before. Yeah, good idea. We probably would spend the rest of the night on it, wouldn't get home until like 2am. I guess we can just work on this tomorrow. Maybe we could meet at my house if that's alright? Well, remember when I was talking about meeting my sister? Well, now you almost have to meet her. <laughs>
she is going to freak out when I tell her about this. She's going to be asking me all night about you. To be honest, I wouldn't be surprised if she even goes as far as calling you. Hey, it's just what happens when you get close to her. All of your business suddenly becomes hers, whether you like it or not. Speaking of which, how about we tell her? Yes, right now, while you're still here, I bet she will have a lot of questions. <laughs> And don't worry, you'll be fine. Just come on. Really? I thought I would have to fight you on this, but I'll take it. Oh, but make sure not to embarrass yourself too much, alright? I know how cringy you can be sometimes. <laughs> you do, but it's alright. I think it's kind of cute. <laughs> ah, it's a shame she won't be able to see your blush. <laughs> Unless you were down for a FaceTime. <laughs> I'm just teasing. I'm just teasing. It's too good not to. <laughs> Whatever. Let's just get it started. Alright. Ready? Good, I'm excited to see what she says. <laughs>